Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracks will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us today. It's Tuesday, and if you are a regular listener, you know we give this title of Tract and Truth Tuesday to each and every one of our Tuesday broadcasts here at Bible Tract Echoes. Now, Bible Tract Echoes is the radio arm of a larger ministry called Bible Tracks Incorporated. And as you've already heard, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T. We're talking about a short written presentation of the gospel. Using gospel tracts is a great means by which you can expand your ability to communicate the gospel to even more people. So today, as we do on our other Tuesday broadcast, we try to sharpen our skills and urge each other on to be more effective and to be more diligent at telling the gospel to the lost. Today, now I on my Tuesday broadcast, we normally set aside our study, in this case of Second Thessalonians, and we are doing that today. My Bible is open to the Gospel of Mark in chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, I want to read verses 13 to 16, some very familiar verses to you. So if you can, get your Bible open there. Along the way, I'm going to be talking about a gospel tract, and I want you to get from us a sample packet of our gospel tracts. Now, that sample packet contains one each of every one of our English gospel tracts. Please give us uh, the opportunity to become a partner with you. At the end of my broadcast, the announcer is going to come back on. He's going to give you our mailing address, our telephone number, our website address. Pick out the way that works for you. Contact us. Give us your name. Give us your uh, mailing address, and I will send you, again, free of charge, that sample packet of tracks. Well, as the year 2015 began, I went back to what I called Track Ministry 101, and I've been dealing with the very basic ways to begin using gospel tracks, and so far I have encouraged you to put tracks on the windshield of cars when you visit a mall or a plaza. Then I talked to you about putting tracks in the public waiting areas, like at a hospital, a doctor's office, or even a tire shop, those kind of a thing. Next, I talked about a man who has his own gospel tract ministry, and I tried to nudge you to think about having your own gospel tract ministry. He has these small track holders that he puts in churches and in businesses, and he goes around every month and makes sure that they are filled. Now, along the way, I also mentioned how you can do the simple thing of putting a gospel tract in when you pay your bills. And then I talked about having two or three unsafe friends writing a little note with a track and saying, please read this gospel tract, asking them to read the track, and then following up with those friends, asking them what they thought of the track. Now, those are some of the key things we've done thus far. Today, today I want to move from Track Ministry 101 to go on to Track Ministry 201. We're going to go and talk about a manner of using tracks that actually involves you and I talking to people ourselves about Christ. Now, when I talk about you and I talking to people audibly about Christ, that often is the place where many Christians stop right there. They've never, ever gotten to the place where they personally shared the gospel with a lost person. So today I want to give you some ideas on how to actually get started to do just that. And I'm going to encourage you to think about telling the gospel to children. I'm going to say more about that here in a moment. I mentioned those gospel tracks. I have one in my hand right now. This is a track for children. It's entitled, Are You 
in danger. Are you in danger? It's a story track. It's a true story about the founder of this gospel track ministry, how he was out in a boat in a thunderstorm, a lightning storm. He started out in this boat with his violin teacher, but the teacher had to get out, and this gospel track will tell you why. And this boy at 12 was in this boat, no light. The only time he had the ability to see where he was going was when the lightning flashed. This young 12-year-old boy at the time got scared to death. It's a great story. It's an exciting story, and it leads right into the gospel. I'm going to talk about how a lady uses this track to reach out to children here in just a moment. So get yourself something to write with and write on, jot down the mailing address and so on of our ministry that will be given later on, and you'll get this track, Are You in Danger, in that sample packet that I want to share. Well, let me read the Bible right now. The book is Mark, Mark chapter 10, beginning at verse 13. I'm sure these are familiar verses to you. Here's what the Bible says. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms and put his hands upon them and blessed them. I'm sure that's a familiar portion of God's word to you. When it comes to uh, personally telling the gospel, it it might be easier to start, if you've never done it before, to start by talking to children. And let me give you here some very basic reasons why. Number one, I haven't done these figures. I'm going to share a figure with you. I'm told about 75 or so, 75 plus percent of all those people who ever come to receive Jesus Christ as Savior in the United States of America do so when they are a child. So talking to children is a great fertile uh, mission field. Secondly, Children tend to not ask hard questions. So many times that I've talked to people urging them to tell the gospel, one of the things adults tell me is, well, I'm afraid somebody's going to ask me a question uh, for which I don't know the answer. Well, I understand the fear, but children don't usually do that. They usually don't know all of the typical hurdles that adults know, and they try to throw up to get you sidetracked off of telling the gospel. Thirdly, Jesus himself, as we read here in Mark 10, Jesus himself ministered to children. When you and I tell youngsters the gospel, we are imitating the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me give you number four here. The gospel can easily be explained in children's terms. Let's not make the gospel hard to understand, but simple. Jesus could make children understand it. I received the gospel when I was seven. Children can understand it. Now, let me tell you what one soul winner does, a lady who uses some of our tracks. This lady uh, uses the track, Are You in Danger, that I mentioned here a moment ago. And when the weather is good, she goes out to a city park and she finds a park bench that's near some children that are playing. And there alongside of her, She has a little sandwich board, and on it, it reads this, free stories told today. It's just there in big, bold letters there. It's probably, oh, two feet tall, and it's not obtrusive in any way. She just sits there. She often will bring a bottle of water, maybe a sandwich, some potato chips, whatever, and she just has a book to read, and she has this little sign, free stories told today. Well, this lady has learned this story in this gospel tract, Are You in Danger? She knows it very, very well. She's learned it to tell it with great expression. And as children come up and ask for a story, and sometimes even adults come up and ask to, to hear a story, this lady tells them the story that's found here, Are You in Danger? 
people listen. She's a good storyteller. Oh, she wasn't always a good storyteller. She learned to be a good storyteller. And then as she tells them the story, she asks them, what did you think about the story? What was your favorite part? Did you like the story? And then she has copies of the track that she gives to each and every one of the people that are there listening to the story. Oh, to be sure, every now and again, somebody doesn't want to take the track, but they've heard the story. And as part of the story, she tells them about the Lord Jesus. Now, friend, listen, there are many great stories that can be used to talk to children and adults that lead right into the gospel. Maybe you can go to one of the Sunday school classes at your church and ask the teacher there if you can tell them the story from the gospel track to that that I, uh, to that Sunday school class. Uh, there are some key gospel terms that you and I need to be ready to explain. Things like sin, forgiveness, uh, the difference between eternal life and eternal death, and those kind of things. Now. Are there some very godly children's ministries around this country? Absolutely there are. You may want to contact them and ask for some advice on how to be more effective in telling the gospel. Well, let me stop right here. I received this letter in the mail uh, this week. It comes from a dear pastor's wife, and she tells me about her dad and how he came to Christ. And this is what her letter says, and I'm quoting now. He, her dad, was in the Army Air Force, and it was September of 1945. He was stationed in New Mexico when a lady who worked at the PX gave him a gospel tract to read. In a letter that her dad wrote to her mother, he called this little pamphlet, uh, this track a little pamphlet, and apparently he sent it to her mother and encouraged her to read it as well. In this letter, he told about the doubts that he had had about being saved and about his sins being forgiven. And then after reading the track, he realized that he wasn't saved at all. He wrote, and I'm quoting from the letter now, quote, Well, I made a confession to Christ and put my trust in him that my sins were forgiven, end quote. I am so thankful, the lady goes on to write, I am so thankful for the courage of the lady who handed that gospel tract to my dad. By the time I was born and old enough to understand the gospel, my dad was a deacon in a little country Baptist church where we attended during my growing up years in southern Michigan. I had the privilege, she says, of growing up in a Christian home, and I received the Lord as my Savior at the age of five. Listen to that. Here is a gospel tract given to an adult, adult man in the military, the soldier, or in this case, the Air Force man received Christ. His wife got saved. They had a Christian home. Their children came to know Christ. And this young lady at five receives Christ. She grows up, goes to Bible school, meets her husband, becomes a pastor's wife, has a tremendous ministry. Sharing the gospel with kids is effective. You can do it. I can do it. Oh, don't expect perfection when we begin, but let's tell the gospel. If you've never told the gospel audibly to anybody, start with a child. They're very forgiving. Dear friend, if you do not know Christ as your Savior, let me send you a gospel tract to tell you how you can know your sins are forgiven and that if you were to die today, you'd be absent from the body, yes, but present with Christ in heaven. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.